You're watching Grizzly News Network. Time is running out for seniors who need to order their cap and gowns details ahead. Plus, next week, seniors will hit the football field for senior class pictures. We'll tell you the date and time later in the show. And the Grizzly baseball and soccer squads were in action this week against area teams. We'll have the latest on how they did in sports. So what do you think about the Will Smith and Chris Rock situation at the Oscars? I think it was very dumb on his part and it will affect him in the future. So do you think he deserves a punishment? Um, yes, because I think that Chris Rock was just joking and he took it serious. Alright, so what do you think about the Chris Rock and Will Smith situation? I think it was stupid because why are you trying to defend someone who cheated on you and y'all are in an open relationship? Right, so do you think he deserves a punishment for that? Yes, because if it was anybody else, they would be getting in trouble and probably ruining their career for it. What do you think about the situation with Chris Rock and Will Smith at the Oscars? I think if I got smacked like that on live TV, somebody's going to be missing a couple of teeth for real. What so is he that? Punishment? Of course, of course. All right, so what do you think about the Chris Rock and Will Smith situation at the Oscars? I would have smacked him too. You talk about my wife? You talk about my wife? You talk about my wife? So do you think he deserves a punishment for that or what? No, I mean, like, if you talking about my wife and knowing that she got alopecia, I would have smacked you, too. I mean, like, you ain't supposed to talk about nobody insecurities. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Riley Sabath Wongsai. And I'm Jordan Baker. Today is Friday, April 1st. Well, that's it for this week, Grizzlies. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. April Fools. April Fools. <laughs> Back to the show. Graduation is eight weeks away, and that means time is running out to order your cap and gown. If you don't have these items, you will not be allowed to graduate. Right now, just the cap and gown unit will cost you $50 plus tax. Remember, it takes six weeks to receive your order, and right now, you're eight weeks away from graduation. You can order your cap and gown by using the QR code on the Northside Facebook page or head over to Jostens' website. That is jostens.com. You can also call 479-968-3269 if you have any questions. In other senior news, Wednesday is Senior Picture Day. This is when all the seniors take group pictures in their cap and gowns in the stadium. If you are wanting individual pictures, sign up in Schoology. This event will take place during fourth period. If you owe the school money, now is the time to pay up. You can look at the delinquent list outside of the media center and the cafeteria. If you are a senior, you have just a few weeks to get paid up or you will not receive your diploma until all the fees are paid off. As we've already mentioned, there is less than eight weeks left in the school year. Now is the time to buckle down and finish strong. If you are missing assignments, please work with your teachers to get your work turned in. Happening now, a fundraiser for the REN team. Today is hat day, and it's a fun way for students to show off their fashion, style, or favorite sports team. This is this artistic approach to fun will cost students $1 that you can pay to any member of the REN team listed on the screen. 
There are two more hat days left in the school year, April 29th and May 20th. Looking ahead, tomorrow students will take the ACT. If you are one of those students, please be sure to arrive before 745 here on campus. Remember, you must have a form of identification with you in order to take the test. If you have any questions, see Mr. Thrower. It's no secret that Northside is committed to supporting the educational needs of military connected students. This is why we are in the process of applying to become a Purple Star School. This distinction recognizes and supports students that are connected by the military. Schools that earn the award receive a special Purple Star recognition to display on campus as well as a link on the state's Department of Education's website. No word on when this process will be complete. Of course, GNN will be sure to update you as this information is available. Looking ahead, DECA is planning a powder puff game fundraiser. This will take place on April 21st at 6 p.m. here on campus. It will cost students $3. Tickets will be on sale the week of the event. There will be girls playing and boys cheering. The marching band will be a kazoo band made up of your faculty. Concession will be open for snacks. All profits will be donated to the Ronald McDonald House here in Fort Smith. March is National Athletic Training Month and is celebrated every year. It is celebrated to bring awareness to the expertise and efforts of athletic trainers across the globe and is dedicated to all those who play a vital role in the development and health care of athletes at various levels. We would like to bring special attention to Northside's athletic trainer, Miss Sherry Riggins. Well, she's actually the trainer for the district, but we like to claim her for ourselves. We could never say enough or pay you enough, Miss Sherry, for all that you do to keep our athletes and coach safe. We want you to know you mean the world to us, and we are blessed to have you in the district. Earlier this week, Grizzly baseball team took on Little Rock Catholic and Miss Sherry throughout the first pitch. Here are a few picks from that game. Happy Athletic Training Month. We love you, Miss Sherry. Now it's time for sports. The Grizzly baseball team and soccer squads are in full swing with some wins under the belts. Let's send it over to Christian and Joey for more. On the north side, I'm Joseph Ferreira, and this is your Grizzly Sports Report. I hope all y'all had a wonderful spring break. Not a lot happened in our sports over spring break. However, a lot did this week. We'll tell you that coming up. Our baseball boys are 2-0 in conference right now. Before spring break, our team took on Little Rock Central, where they secured a dub 13-9. Standing behind me, our boys are playing Little Rock Catholic. We'll give you all those scores after this game. The boys also take on Conway this Friday, so best of luck out there boys, y'all got this. We go over to the softball now as our ladies are 1-1 one one in conference. Before spring break, they took on Little Rock Center where they won 9-2. Good job out there ladies, best of luck on your Conway game Friday as well. We move over to track as of the last week before we went to spring break, our runners went to Greenwood where they competed. Two runners came out with amazing victories. We had Jada Robinson get second place in the 400 meter dash, and we had Adam Ferguson get second place in the 800 meter dash with a time of two minutes and 10 seconds. Great stuff out there, runners. Best of luck to your silent spring meet this Thursday. What's up, Grizzlies? Now we move on to your soccer. Before spring break, our soccer took on Central where our boys took a win, two to zero, and our girls took a win, three to one. Great job, guys. And then after spring break, we're here at the game against Catholic and Mount St. Mary's where the guys took on a tie 2-2 two two, and the girls are currently in halftime 2-1. to one. We'll update you on those scores later. They also play Conway Friday. Make sure to come out to that game and support them. 
All right, Grizzlies, that about wraps it up for our sports report. We're nearing the midway for most of our sports, and we're hoping to make it to the end and get to the state titles. Keep chasing, guys. Good luck. We'll see you guys next week. We also want to recognize Lady Bears soccer player, Mary Elizabeth Williams. She broke school record earlier this week when she scored a goal in first 24 seconds of the game. Way to go, Mary. Don't forget to post all your school spirit pics on Instagram using the hashtag GNN Squad to be featured on next week's show. That's a wrap. Have a great weekend, Grizzlies, and stay safe. Bye. Bye.